Hi beauty, so again I'm bringing back another decluttering video. I have done foundation decluttering and also eyeshadow palette decluttering. So today I'm doing my lipsticks. Not more lipstick than what's in this bag, but this is all we're doing today. I can always do a part two later on. We'll be swatching all the lipsticks. I do have like high-end and drugstore here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jen, Jen's Beauty Style, and let's go ahead and get started. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. The first lipstick I have here is by the brand Koki and you can probably find this in like drugstore. I think it's like Dwayne Reed probably but this is what it looks like. I did get it in an Ipsy bag so not my color whatsoever. This is the swatch here. It's not a bad color. I just don't like it on me. This is in the shade Mad About Mauve. And I have here one from NYX. This, this looks so pretty. This is the Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the color Istanbul. I love this formula. This is very pretty. I just don't wear a lot of lipstick. If you see me with lipstick, sometimes it's for my tutorials, but when I'm out in the street, I barely wear lipstick. Uh, so yeah, that's a pretty nice pink. So I guess I will keep it. We have another one by the same brand, same thing. And this is the NYX Soft Matte. And this is in the shade Monte Carlo. So let me swatch this so you can see. Uh, my favorite red. I like something deeper. So we will be decluttering this one. And I have this here from Ciate. This is beautiful. The packaging, everything. Remember when this just came out? This was so hyped. This is good like if you really like glitter. Like in a really nice classy way. I have this on sale a lot now. But this color is gorgeous. This is the color candy. I always wanted this shade. It's the one that I wanted the most. I do have a video. If you check my channel and you put Ciate candy, you will find this. You basically put it on your lips. You let it dry a little. And then you smack your lips together. And boom, like it transforms into like glitter. But do I really use this? No. But I will keep it for like a collector's thing. It's just really nice. Here is something from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the color Undressed. I don't know if they still sell this color, but I'm obsessed. I love um, nude lipsticks, nude glosses, everything. So I'm definitely not going to get rid of that. Smell to die for. If you've never tried her lipsticks, definitely try. If this is the one that got this continued Undressed, I know they probably renamed it or they have several similar ones with different names we have this here look how cute this is by covergirl this is a collab that they had with katie perry Let's watch it for you so well, that's the color right there i will be decluttering this i never reach for it this is in the color tabby tees we have here is this kkw now Quick disclaimer, this is not real. This, I got it from AliExpress, which I have done several videos showing you, like AliExpress makeup hauls, makeup tutorials using only AliExpress. So this was from AliExpress, so this is not the original. This is very nice, but it makes your lips look horrible, ill, like disgusting. It smells really nasty too. The color right there. So it just it does not look pretty on the lips. The other one from Ciate. This is the Glitter Flip. But this is in the color Infamous. I also have a review. But that was a long time ago. So don't even watch it. It's hideous. But yeah. This is another one. This one is definitely going bye bye. I don't like this color whatsoever. When you smack your lips it's full of glitter. So you have to like that. That's Infamous by Ciate. I love Ciate's packaging. They kill everything with the packaging. I have reviewed also a highlighter from them, a bronzer from them, and the packaging is always to die for. Next thing I have here is this by Stila. Oh my god. God, if you guys don't know, I rave about these lipsticks so much. It's my favorite formula for liquid lipsticks. This, when you find this in TJ Maxx or Marshalls, definitely check it out. Because these are pretty pricey. I think they retail for like, what is it, 18 or 22, something like that. I don't know. But this is in the color Como. Como? Como? And it's so pretty. Not a color that I use, obviously, on a daily basis. But I just love the formula. I would get this in so many colors. I actually have a video trying this on i'll try to find it and i'll post it here but if you love purples oh my god and the smell 
Oh my god, it's so good. I can't rave about the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks enough. Definitely want to do a video trying this, playing with this. Let me know. It's here from Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. And this is in Loyalist. This is gorgeous guys i have a video of uh, reviewing this with another one that i have there and it has so many views because this is so many people's favorite this says super stay this is super stay and it is matte and if you love nudes you will love this but this is the color if you want to see what it looks like on check the videos that i have done again this is in the color loyalist they have so many different colors now in this line because people love them the only thing you have to know is when you're taking this off you have to like do it with a wipe with something wet with like maybe a cream or some oil something because this is not just going to come off with you do it with the tissue another maybelline this is the maybelline vivid matte liquid lipstick and this is in the color twisted tulip see what the color looks like all right is this color right here should i keep it should i not all right let's put it in the stash to keep this is a matte is my favorite kind of formula so I have something here from mac this is the mac satin myth myth if you've never heard of it oh my god this is like i think the palest palest of the nudes family i mean if you like it alone hey props to you it doesn't matter but this is a beautiful nude It'll really wash you out you have to be careful it actually smells different now not the usual maybe i should throw it away it smells kind of weird not how your usual mac lipstick smells it smells expired i think we're getting rid of this this is another matte lipstick this is from wet and wild and this one is in the color pink really hard it's cruelty free a beautiful pink so it's this color right here a wet and wild we'll leave it for now so the other maybelline super stay matte ink that i have is this one which was in the same video when i reviewed the loyalist one and this one is in the color voyager i think it would be so good that vampy look for like fall winter or whenever you please they're super long lasting oh my god this is definitely out of my comfort zone but i'll definitely use it in tutorials and you never know if i feel more brave and just use it outside that's very pretty we'll keep it we'll keep have it. this one here look how cute the packaging is this is by the brand lime crime and this is in the color coquette remember one of the people that i used to watch mentioned this it was actually shannon and xo i believe and she talked about this and i was like oh I don't even have to think about it i'm buying it but i don't think i i die for it too much it's just really pretty it's another beautiful nude i think i'm gonna do like an updated nude lipstick video i did do one but i don't know how much i love those nudes but i do have a video like swatching the lips a bunch of nude lipsticks if you want to see that video i also did one like that with a red lipstick i try to go quicker because there is a lot to go through and this video is going to take forever this is by mac this is the creme the nude lipstick i already know i'm telling you now i'm not getting rid of it is my favorite nude in this entire universe is the best is the prettiest is the best formula is this one right here if you've never tried it recommend and it's still good it still smells like your regular mac lipstick so that's staying in the stash the bakery love it look at the packaging is so unique with this teal or aqua color oh my god swatch it right here it's actually similar to that voyager one if you look at it it's really pretty again this is by beauty bakery so we're keeping that and this is in the color cranberry stiletto have this one here from color pop this is another red i'll tell you the truth right now the formula is not my favorite it like it's a bit messy that's just my opinion but it's a beautiful red like it's just so messy do a swatch right here for you and this is in the color creeper another beautiful red can't deny it so i'll keep it but it's just such a like messy formula I have this one from smashbox this is the always on liquid lipstick is in the color babe alert how much i can do here this is babe alert not my favorite i will be decluttering that I have this one from makeup revolution this is in salvation intense liqueur it's more than i could give it's a beautiful liquid lipstick for what i remember i didn't like the scent 
yeah i don't like the scent of this at all ew but this is the color it's beautiful and actually a lot of people ask me like when i wore this maybe twice in videos that what was it so i mean this is this is this is what you've been asking i'm getting rid of this it smells gross this is one from l'oreal this one is in the color matte stir piece i think so that's the color here um i'll swatch it so that's a nice color we can keep that this one from nyx this is more like a gloss this is the mega shine gloss i think this is super old this is so cute here it has like a little bow i will swatch it there but again since it's so old mm -mm, this this is this is not good and this is in the color sugar pie i don't even know if they sell it anymore collab is very pretty very pretty color here right there this color right here and this is in boy toy talk about packaging beauty this is just so pretty so there you go that's stain another one from stila this was like a little set that they were selling i do have a video most likely reviewing them trying them all on this is the stila stale day this is the mini in vino swatch that right here Ooh, talk about vampy if you love a vampy look mm -mm -mm. and if you want to try several of these try the sets they have sets with minis this one here is this the same one this is the maybelline vivid matte but this is in the color nude flush we'll see if we're keeping this one nude flush it is a very nice nude so we can keep this one another one from the stila line this was in fia i do not think this is a nice color on me at all so as much as i love the formula i have to pass that that's not not for me we have this from nars this is their pencil lip stand see the color but i can barely even swatch it that's going away that's barely pigmented it's a beautiful color but I'm getting rid of it. I have this here. This is another from AliExpress. If you're familiar with AliExpress or Wish, then you are familiar with the brand Miss Rose. I am getting rid of this. I already know it. That's what it looks like. The packaging is really cute. This is definitely like, like them trying to dupe the Pat McGrath ones. If you want to see what these look like, check out my videos of AliExpress. Just go to my channel and write AliExpress. That's all. You'll find several videos. So I have one from MAC. There's another one that Shannon had mentioned a long time ago. And of course, I ran and I got it. Look at that color. Definitely not a color that I use or would want to use. Maybe in tutorials. That's the thing. I have to think about if I want to do a tutorial using something like that. So this is probably going to stay in my collection because you never know. Jermaine. And I will swatch it right here. So it is very pretty. I love, love, love Max lip glasses or lip gloss oh my god they're, they're the best so this is like the same one i just showed you but in a gloss version all right so that one and then you have this one but in a gloss version this is the only lipstick i have from morphe the packaging is really cute but the formula was not to die for this is actually in the color morphe so it's morphe and the color is called morphe so i'll swatch it right here it's a nice red but I will be decluttering this. It's sad because the packaging is so cute. It reminds me like of the James Charles palette. That's exactly how they did it. I did do a video on the James Charles palette just in case and I did a look showing you in swatches. I have this liquid lipstick here from Huda Beauty color Bikini Babe. This is not flattering color on me at all. So we will be decluttering this one. Have this one here by Wet n Wild. And this one is the Liquid Katsu Matte Lipstick. And this is in the color Nice to Fugia. Fugia. This is really nice for what I can remember. Swatch it here so we will keep it. Look at that. That is a really nice color. This one from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick, and this is in Red Vixen. Love this, love this. I wouldn't say it's the most long-lasting, but it's so pretty. Like, I love this red. 
look at it oh and it dries down beautifully i did a video and it's called full face of only elf makeup i love the look i created there's so many like winners in that video must watch if you love elf I have so many beautiful colors from this line this one is by ipsy this is a collaboration that they did with ofra but i'll swatch it right here it's really nice this is another one that you guys ask me what am i wearing when i put it on so it's it's something that I got in my Ipsy bag. So it's probably like limited edition or they probably have the same one in a different color. Keeping that one. I have this one from Smashbox and this is different. Like I don't have anything like this. This is called Man Eater. I forget how I got this. I don't know if it was like a promo code at Sephora and I redeemed it. So, but it's it's really different. It's like a metallic, like imagine for like the holidays or something. Imagine that with like a, a matte eye look and then the pop and the lips like that. Definitely keeping that. I have another one from the cat suit collection from Wet n Wild. This one is called Caught You Bare Naked. I can tell you right now, this is like super pale no no like this you can't even see it but it definitely like washes me out don't like it will be decluttering this one from revlon is super old this is the soft nude lipstick really nice nude but it's just really like old i wouldn't want to get rid of it but it's just i've had it for way too long i don't even know how many years but it's nice i don't even know if they still sell it this is by sephora this is the sephora lip powder very interesting lip powder formula can you open up please so i'll do a swatch here that's what it looks like so not my favorite the formula wasn't bad but I just don't like this color at all. But it's interesting. Have you tried powder lipsticks before? This one here from Tarte. This is the Tarteist. I think that's how you say it. And of course, I can't see the color. But I believe this is called Birthday Suit. I redeemed it like two years ago or one year ago from Sephora for my birthday. This is nice, but it's not a color that I love. I will keep it though. I'll give it one more chance until like the next decluttering. But right here, again, birthday suit. It's nice, but not my favorite type of nude for me. I have this one here from Huda Beauty. This is like, you know, the ones that come in the lip uh, package. That's so gorgeous. I love that. Trophy Wife. It's a beautiful color. It's just a really like liquidy formula. I think she describes it as lightweight. But it's nice, it's nice. So we will keep that. I have another one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is it, the color Milkshake. This is a liquid lipstick. Ooh, that is just not a color that is flattering on me. Totally washes me out. I can't pull this off. So that, sadly, is going bye-bye. I have this one from NARS. This is a mini. This came in a set that I reviewed. I think it's the Orgasm set. It was like a holiday edition. This is beautiful. Again, it's in the color Orgasm. It's so cute. This is a mini. Uh, oh, I can't take it out too much because it'll break. It's just the perfect color right there. Things pretty. The, the blush is beautiful. Oh my god. From the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. This one is in the color Pioneer. Swatch it right here next to Voyager. So right here is Pioneer. This one is Voyager. As you can see, very different types of red. This one is very pretty. I don't plan to get rid of it. From the Stila set that I told you, this one is in Patina. I believe this is a lot of people's favorites. This one is definitely, I think, one of my favorites from them. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful color, Patina. This one is in the color Bossy from the same collection. I will swatch it right here. Bossy, it's another beautiful beautiful purpley tone oh my god it's like a gloss this is from revlon it's a beautiful like purpley tone i don't know when i would want to use it but i don't know there's nothing like it that i have so i don't know i really don't think that i will be using something like this so i'll get rid of it i have the pat mcgrath one this is the color elson 
beautiful red one. I do have a video showing you set because this came in a set of three and the one that I have on right now is also part of the set, which I do have a video showing you like this makeup look. I believe I'm calling it like birthday makeup look so you can see, but yeah, I, I did a video showing you this makeup because I like it have this here which is brand new i haven't even opened it so of course i will get rid of it and put it in the giveaway bag this is the mauve out of here this is by wet and wild it's from rimmel called provocalypse color this color is like yeah just look at that that's no not for me so this is going by by i believe this is just like a gloss and it does smell fantastic so i would keep it just for the gloss but we'll, we'll just declutter the other one from the stila said this is in fury or fiery i don't know okay and it's a beautiful red I'll swatch it here oh god that is so gorgeous and i don't have to tell you again that i love this formula it's like a whipped formula and it dries beautifully into a mint. This is by NYX. This is the Jumbo Lipstick in Deep Red. I think I've had this for quite a while now. And it feels weird and everything, so we'll get rid of that. This other one from NYX it was like one of my first videos that I did a long time ago, two years ago. And this is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick and this is in the color and Heels. So this is expired. Ex Oh, it smells bad. All right, here you go. Not my favorite red, but hey. Another one from Huda. This is a nice small one. This is the liquid lipstick and bombshell. I have a video on this with the whole set because it came with like a, a lip liner and stuff here. This is bombshell. Not my favorite nude, but I like it and it's cute. I have this one here from MAC. This is a mini. This is the matte Russian red lipstick. I'll tell you now that I'm obsessed with this one. This one ain't going anywhere. It's one of my favorite reds in the universe. And that's what it looks like. It's beautiful. The formula is gorgeous. It doesn't make your lips look crusty, even though it's a nice matte. Oh, it's just a must have if you love red lipsticks. So. There gorgeous I have this cutie pie here and this is by buxom you've probably heard me rave about this a million times i do have it in the big size as well and this is the white russian one best in the world it smells beautiful it's just a beautiful gloss but it gives a little bit of color this one here by the brand mellow this is a matte liquid paint and just swatch it i probably got it like in a ipsy bag my cup of tea whatsoever so we will be getting rid of that it smells really good by the way super sweet slip glass by mac this has like some glitter in it i think i got it in uh, some rack for a very nice price this is in the color clear water so not getting rid of it it's very nice this shade here from the stila one is called rubino let me know if you've tried this and what color is your favorite so is rubino so very nice different shades of red let the cluttering videos definitely check out the ones i've done for eyeshadows foundations all of that so give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe click the little notification bell that way you will be the first to get notified every time i post a new video thanks for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye